Ah, this is Brooklyn St. Michael with the School of Aquaponics, and this is Ask the Aquaponics God. Preventing you from becoming a biscuit-headed grower. Woo! Today, ladies and gentlemen, this is Nighttime Aquaponics once again. I'm back, feeling great. It's nighttime right now, almost probably like 12 a.m. I don't give a freak. I'm pumped right now. Sometimes you get the itch where you got to get it in, and it's one of those nights where I, where I got to get it in. So we're going to be breaking down a question here that we have from one of the, the viewers asking about adding iron, right? Before we jump into that, I want to thank you guys out there for liking the video and subscribing to the channel. I appreciate you guys out there live from Aquaponics Paradise. So let's jump right into it, ladies and gentlemen, and let's see who we got. Today, the question comes from Fon, Fonich Heliana Salo. What's going on, Fonich Heliana? Um, the question goes like this. One question, like you said, you have to manually add iron, FE, in the system in order to provide requisite nutrients to the plant. Yes, this is true, right? This is true. Iron is a required or an essential element for plant development, right? So if you're lacking iron, then the plant is not going to be able to complete its life cycle. Now, the fish feed, which we get the vast majority of our nutrients for the plants, is insufficient when it comes to supplying the proper amounts of iron to meet the, uh, the plant requirements. So in that case, what we have to do is we have to supplement. This is true, we have to supplement. Typically by using a, um, some type of chemical supplementation, typically a chelated iron, and a chelated iron is basically just an iron with an organic compound that's attached to it that prevents it from precipitating at, in the solution. It keeps it in the solution for the plants to be able to take it up, right? So, and this is typically in the form of a chelated iron known as um, FEDTPA, right? That's diethylene triamine pentaacetate, right? And this is typically what it's gonna be in the form of. There's other forms, but this is the most appropriate for aquaponics, dealing with the pH range that we typically run our systems in, right? And with iron, you typically wanna have your parts per million or your concentration somewhere between two and three, right? That's going to be the safe zone for you. So we do have to manually add it in there unless you want your plants yellow and, and having chlorosis, right? It's not going to look pretty. So let's keep that in mind. Let's keep going. It says, how is that done exactly? So this is a good question. And I'm going to go ahead and break down, give you a quick overview on how it's done when we add the iron to the system to get it to the proper concentration to meet the demand of the grower and the plant right so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to have some type of checker this is required you need something to check the iron concentration right we're not just slapping stuff in there and just winging it you need something to check it so i use a hanna test kit little hanna test kit here simple comes with a digital uh, meter in here a digital a checker, I should say, comes with a, a few vials and also some reagent packets that you just add in there. Press a button and it's going to get you your, um, your concentration. So that's what you initially need to start off with, with checking your iron concentration in your system to find out if you're within range or not. Right. So I give my system, um, I use my system, for example, the NFT system, the high class grower aquaponic guy NFT system back there. I did iron today, right? I did some iron today. So I checked the iron, and when I ran a check, 2.53 milligrams per liter. Now, this is within range, but I still wanted to add it and boost it up. I still just felt like doing it. So I'll provide that as an example for the video. So that's the first thing you want to need to know. Now, once you have that um, understood on what your concentration is, the next thing that you're gonna wanna do is, you're gonna wanna find out what is the desired concentration that you want your iron to be at. So like I said, it was 2.53 milligrams per liter. I wanted it to be at three for the sake of doing it. Right, there's nothing wrong with that. Now, when you get that, when you have that 
down, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to use this formula, right? You're going to want to use the, 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 the aquaponic God, for, well, it's not the aquaponic God formula, but it's the formula that we use to add iron, right? You're going to want to add, you're going to want to use this formula. And the formula is D times 100 divided by P equals R. Now the D is, it stands for the desired increase in iron concentration. Right, so the desired increase in iron concentration, I had it at 2.53 milligrams per liter, I wanted it to go to three. So my desired increase in iron concentration is 0.47. Right, so that's what it is. So that's gonna go in place of D. The 100 there, that's the standard number. Right, so you're not gonna have to worry about that. It has a meaning to it, but I'm not gonna go into that right now. But it is related to the P. That P that you see, that right there is the percentage of chelated iron that you have in your supplement. Whatever supplement you have, typically is gonna be somewhere between seven and 13%. Uh, That's where it can range from. But I most often see it uh, nine, 10, or 11%, right? Just check on the bag or check before you order it and it's gonna tell you the percentage. The one I'm using is an 11%, right? So 11 is gonna go in place of that P. Equals R. The R is the required amount of that supplement to get the certain concentration per liter of water, right? This one is a per liter of water. That's what this is, right? So when we break this down, we have 0 0.47 times 100 divided by 11 equals, when we do run the calculation, that's gonna give me 4.3 milligrams per liter. That means I need to put 4.3 milligrams of my particular supplement in each liter of water. So what's the next question that we need to find out? We need to find out how many liter, liters of water do I have or do you have in the particular system? So we're using this system for example. So I, it's 225 gallons. That was my uh, uh, um, uh, approximate guess when I did the, ran the uh, calculation. It fluctuates on this system, but that's what I ran it as, 225 gallons. There's 3.785 liters in every gallon. So I run that 225 gallons times the 3.785. And what that's gonna give me is 852 liters. Now we know how many liters we have in this system, right? And we know, we already have our answer on how much we need to add. We need to add what, 4.3 milligrams for every liter. So now we need to combine those together now. We need to get a total amount. We got the per liter and we know how many liters. So now we have to multiply those, the 4.3 times 852 liters total in the system. And that's gonna give us 3,664 uh, uh, milligrams, excuse me. 3,664 milligrams total that needs to be added in the system, that's our R, in order to get our desired increase, the 0 0.47, that total increase, right? So we can simplify that in, um, from milligrams and change that into grams to simplify it and make it easier. And so it's easier to measure when we use our, um, our scale to measure it because you, you should be using a scale to measure your nutrients, right? So we have 3,664 milligrams, we wanna convert that into grams, and we know that there's 1,000 milligrams per gram. So we just divide that by 1,000. We go in reverse. We divide that by 1,000, and that's going to give us 3.7. This is rounded. 3.7 grams that needed to be added in this 852-liter system. Hope you're following along with me. Rewind it back. Go through it slow. Take notes. Right? This is the formula. And not matter if, yeah, this is the formula. Now, I am going to call it the aquaponic God formula, even though it's not that, but it just sounds good. Matter of fact, the high-class grower formula, right? That's for all the people out there, the high-class growers. We're going to call it that, the high-class grower formula, right? There we go. So 3.7 grams is what was required. Now, I went ahead and added that in there, the 3.7 grams, and then I weighed it because you have to wait for the circulation, the water to circulate, those nutrients that you just added in there to kind of circulate through the system and get all the way, you know, concentrated in all the areas, all the parts of the water. So I came back about an hour and a half later, two hours later, took another test, right? And then when I took my test this time, 
the results show that it was about two or it was 2.96 part milligrams per liter or parts per million. It's the same thing. So we're pretty much right there on the money, right? We're just 0 0.004 off or 0 0.04 off of the target. And that's because we know the water isn't exactly 225 gallons or 852 liters, right? So if your water volume is off slightly, or if you put the wrong amount in there slightly, even the slight, uh, a slight wrong amount, then that's gonna affect the results. So it's probably, instead of 225 gallons, maybe it's somewhere like 220 or 215 gallons. Or instead of 852 liters, maybe it's something like 830 liters. You see, but we're right there on the money. So that's the formula that I use when it's time to add iron. Makes it very simple. You just gotta get used to the formula. Do the same thing for the floating raft. And that's gonna get you right there in the ballpark, right there in the money, right? So hopefully this has helped you guys out, the high class growers. And hopefully this has, um, you know, upped your game and upped your knowledge, right? These are the nuance or the, the nooks and crannies when we're dealing with aquaponics. These are the nooks and crannies, right? So hopefully this has helped you guys out out there. Once again, I appreciate you guys. Keep the, the, the questions coming. This is a hot question. I'm not gonna lie, it's a hot question. That's something that everyone should wanna know. That's the dog barking right there, acting crazy. Interrupting my video. But anyways, that's what everyone should wanna know and should be having in the knowledge bank when you're dealing with aquaponics. Right, so with that being said, I wanna thank you guys again for liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Man, I'm super pumped right now, man. I might, I might break out another video if I feel like it. I don't know why I'm pumped right now, so pumped. But it's just, it happens sometimes like this. But um, I wanna thank you guys again. If you guys need more information on aquaponics, make sure to visit theschoolofaquaponics.com or click on the link below. Get you a free starter guide and aquaponics course. Enroll in the School of Aquaponics Get in there, Aquaponics Paradise, learn the fundamentals of aquaponic growing, and get up there with the big boys, right? All of you guys got it in you. All of you got, all the viewers that watch this channel, you guys are all something special about you guys. If, you watch, if you're watching me, it's something special about you guys. I can guarantee that, right? I can guarantee it. So let's keep it going. Let's keep the community hot. And I look forward to more questions from you guys. Until then, this is Brooklyn, St. Michael with the School of Aquaponics reminding you to stop walking and get you a car. <laughs>